Hace unos días la NASA anunció oficialmente el descubrimiento del de llamado noveno planeta, para algunos reconocido como Ercóbulus, Nibiru o Planeta X. Como usted sabe, el primer registro de él aparece en tablas sumerias de más de 5.000, 6.000 años de antigüedad. Y hasta el día de hoy había sido una leyenda. Hoy sabemos que efectivamente existe un cuerpo masivo, muy grande, muy posiblemente del tamaño de los grandes planetas de nuestro sistema solar, que tiene una órbita alrededor del Sol, se dice, de 20.000 años. Todavía hay mucho que aprender y de saber de este misterio, ya que hasta el día de hoy no se le ha logrado fotografiar. Aquí le presento la investigación de Fernando Correa. Un equipo de astrónomos afirman tener evidencias de la existencia del noveno planeta. Nadie lo ha observado. Sin embargo, se ha logrado determinar que se localizaría 20 veces más lejos que Neptuno. Sería entre 10 y 20 veces más grande que la Tierra. Se piensa que es muy oscuro y que tiene una órbita muy alargada dando una vuelta al Sol cada 20.000 años. Estos cálculos son posibles gracias a las observaciones de las órbitas de 14 planetoides más allá de Neptuno, en el cinturón de Kuiper. La posición, dirección y órbitas de estos planetoides no se pueden entender a menos que exista un enorme planeta muy masivo que determinaría la posición de los planetoides. Sería el quinto en tamaño después de Júpiter, Saturno, Urano y Neptuno. Esta es la investigación del noveno planeta que está siendo relacionado con el llamado planeta oscuro, conocido como Nibiru o Ercolobus, el planeta bíblico. El 20 de enero del 2016, astrónomos del Caltech de Estados Unidos, Mike Brown y Constantin Batiguin, anunciaron que tenían evidencias de la existencia real del noveno planeta. What we have discovered is that numerous features of the Kuiper Belt, a field of icy debris beyond the orbit of Neptune, can be understood if the solar system possesses an additional ninth planet that resides well beyond the orbits of the known planets. De manera que el campo gravitacional y la dirección de las órbitas de los planetoides en el cinturón de Kuiper se explican por la existencia de un noveno planeta. Mike Brown en 2003 descubrió el planetoide Sedna. En 2005, los planetoides Eris y Makemake. Y en 2016 explica por qué existe el noveno planeta. When we looked at the outer solar system, we, we, we realized that while most of the, the very distant objects, these objects beyond Neptune, beyond Pluto, most of these objects, they, they all go around the sun and they're all sort of pointing off in all different directions, but the most distant objects all swing out in one direction in, in, in a very strange way that shouldn't happen. And we realized that the only way we could get them to all swing in one direction is if there is a massive planet, also very distant in the solar system, keeping them in place while they all go around the sun. Aunque existen evidencias de la existencia del noveno planeta, aún no ha sido observado. Sin embargo, ya se está buscando con los mayores telescopios del mundo. Se calcula, deberá ser observado los próximos cinco años. La confirmación de su descubrimiento seguramente resolverá el enigma del planeta oscuro llamado Nibiru o Ercolobus, el planeta bíblico conocido como Ajenjo, un planeta que se describe en la tablilla de Berlín de las crónicas de los sumerios. El noveno planeta está siendo relacionado con Nibiru en una investigación que continuará. Informó Fernando Correa. Hi everybody, it's Steve Olson. It's November 5th, 2016. I want to start with a little excerpt from a state a channel Nanya 9. This is a uh, video she did called A Red Star Will Cast a Stone to the Earth Now. And this is her reasoning. It's not necessarily everything that I do, but I think it's pretty sobering. Listen. Look, the Bible already knew of the existence of this object long before the Age of Reason even began. It tells us that the powers that be do know about this object and the asteroids and comets that it essentially tosses toward the inner solar system. The Bible tells us they know and they are lying about the timing of it. And this is interesting because NASA and other agencies have made announcements about potentially harmful asteroids in recent years. But notice they always say it's not due to arrive until 2030 or some other distant future date that no one will be talking about once it arrives. The Bible knew about this object before they did, and the Bible is telling us they are lying about the timing of this object. In other words, they know when it will hit, and they've given us the warning, but they lied about when. It will hit. It's the warning, but they lied about when it will hit. It's the warning, but they lied about when it will hit.
Um, remember a couple days ago, guys, when I was asking for photographs, uh, night photographs especially from New South Wales, Australia, where we were able to see the object where we had several testimonies? Well, it turned from testimony to evidence today when Jody from New South Wales, Australia sent me these pictures. Hi, I took these photos about at the, on the above date, which in this case was Sunday, November 6th in Australia with different plant, all the different planets in the night sky getting closer. The system is very near in Dubbo, New South Wales, Australia. Use them as you like in no particular order. Very interesting. So here's one. Let's take a look at this one again. This is the raw footage. And you can see as we zoom in on it, it's a red planet object. And here we see possibly the winged object and another planet. And again, they failed to hide or obfuscate those, I believe, because it was probably at nighttime. Here's a couple of the other objects that she caught in the grouping or the cluster, if you will, of objects. And again, New South Wales, guys, it seems like you guys are getting the prime time view of the system. So keep those uh, emails coming to me, and I really appreciate this one. Check this out. Trump crowd in, in Selma, North Carolina. Thank you to the subscriber that this is CEF, one of my good friends. He's been he, she, won't even tell you the gender, been around me for a long time. But anyway, check out this Twitter shot. There's the green planet, big and bold, behind the crowds in Selma, North Carolina, guys. Every so often, we just capture it, you know? Unbelievable. Uh, Fabrics will send me stuff. Um, and, um, and just to look at, after the extensive work that we did on uncovering the artificial light system, he decided to go out and just film the sun rising at normal speed. So it's kind of a big video. He didn't put it up on YouTube. But I wanted to just show you components of that lighting system up there. Now, it's hiding the green planet. What's happening is you're getting the, the friends now and artificial light, followed by what is the real sun behind it because it's trying to hide, at times, both Nemesis and the sun itself. You can see the actual Fred Snell unit and the projection coming out, and this big green thing is actually the uh, planet. See? And it's basically showing us the planet uh, in the photograph. We wouldn't be able to see this from the naked eye because you have to actually see the refractions and reflections of this system itself. It is amazing, isn't it? Now that we can actually see what we're know what we're looking at, it's completely revelationary. Same thing here, guys. Right? I mean, you, you can see the whole system now refre reflecting, refracting outwards, and it's 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 it like like I said. Now that we know what we're looking at, it just makes things just a lot easier. You know what I mean? So here we've got the um, we've got the friends now lens. We've got the way that it's kind of projecting out. We've got it trying to move the focal point away, and just because we were in this particular spot, we were able to see what's actually behind or what's up and behind the lighting. Okay, and so let me end up the video here, guys. I'm working on the next um, Truth is a Radical Act uh, episode today. Hope to get that out soon. Uh, I just wanted to touch base a little bit, show you a couple things I'm seeing, and wish you a blessed day. And remember this, guys. Listen to me. Seriously. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and don't lean into your own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all your ways, and He will direct your path. God bless. Seek. Hace unos días la NASA anunció oficialmente el descubrimiento del de llamado noveno planeta, para algunos reconocido como Hercóbulus, Nibiru o Planeta X. Como usted sabe, el primer registro de él aparece en tablas sumerias de más de 5.000, 6.000 años de antigüedad. Y hasta el día de hoy había sido una leyenda. Hoy sabemos que efectivamente existe un cuerpo masivo, muy grande, muy posiblemente del tamaño de los grandes planetas de nuestro sistema solar, que tiene una órbita alrededor del Sol, se dice de 20.000 años. Todavía hay mucho que aprender y de saber de este misterio, ya que hasta el día de hoy no se le ha logrado fotografiar. Aquí le presento la investigación de Fernando Correa. Un equipo de astrónomos afirman tener evidencias de la existencia del noveno planeta. Nadie lo ha observado. Sin embargo, se ha logrado determinar que se localizaría 20 veces más lejos que Neptuno. Sería entre 10 y 20 veces más grande que la Tierra. Se piensa que es muy oscuro y que tiene una órbita muy alargada dando una vuelta al Sol cada 20.000 años. Estos cálculos son posibles gracias a las observaciones de las órbitas de 14 planetoides más allá de Neptuno, en el cinturón de Quinto.